Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a sea otter. Start by drawing a big oval as a guide for the head. To draw the oval, first make two small marks to indicate the oval's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the oval's width. Make sure that the marks for the oval's width are farther apart than the marks for the oval's length. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the oval. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. Pay attention to the width of the oval in relation to its length. The sides of the oval should be more curved than the top and bottom. The bigger you make this oval, the bigger the head will be. Inside the oval, draw a curved vertical line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Now draw a horizontal line for another construction guide. Curve the line so that it contours to the shape of the oval. Place this line higher up than the center of the oval. On top of the horizontal line, draw a small oval as a guide for the first eye. Pay attention to the distance between the eye and the vertical construction guide. To the right, draw another small oval as a guide for the other eye. The eye on the right should be farther away from the vertical construction guide. Pay attention to how small the eyes are in relation to the head. Under the horizontal line, draw a big diamond-like shape as a guide for the nose. Place the nose directly on the path of the vertical construction guide. The nose is basically made up of two V-shaped lines. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Use the small oval on the left as a guide to draw the first eye. Darken the left side of the oval to create the eyeball. Draw a series of short strokes along the top and right side for the fur that's against the eye. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Make the top and right side flatter than the initial oval. Inside the eye, draw a curved line for the iris. Follow the curvature of the oval as you draw the iris. Use the small oval on the right as a guide to draw the other eye the same way. Darken the right side of the oval and use short strokes for the left side and the top. Inside the eye, draw a curved line for the iris. Follow the curvature of the eyeball as you draw the iris. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. Now draw a short curved line inside each eye for the pupils. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you draw the lines for the pupils. Draw a series of short strokes above the eyes for fur. Sketch lightly at first so that you get the shapes right. Use the diamond-like shape in the middle as a guide to draw the nose. Darken the shape but make the corners more curved. On the sides, curve the lines inward to create the nostrils. Inside the nose, draw two small circular shapes to finish the nostrils. The nostrils should be close to the bottom edge of the nose. Each nostril should be similar to a semicircle. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw two small curved lines below the nostrils. The shape of the nose should be similar to a spade from a deck of cards. Darken the bottom pointy tip of the nose. 
Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the left for the first part of the mouth. Draw the line using a series of short strokes for a furry texture. This line should be very close to the bottom edge of the big initial oval. To the right, draw another long curved line for the other side of the mouth. This line should be a bit longer because the head is slightly turned. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. The chin should be close to the bottom edge of the oval. Use short strokes to create a furry texture. High above the nose, draw a curved line that's made up of short strokes for the top part of the muzzle. Draw this line higher than the eyes. Draw two more curved lines on the sides of the nose for the sides of the muzzle. The muzzle should form a circular shape around the nose that's made up of short strokes. On the left side of the big oval, draw a small curved shape for the first ear. Place the ear close to the tip of the horizontal construction guide. Add a couple of lines inside the ear to give it structure. On the right side, draw another curved line for the other ear. The ear on the right should be slightly bigger than the ear on the left. Add a smaller curved line inside the shape to give the ear structure. Now use the big oval as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the oval to create the shape of the furry head. Make the sides of the head a bit wider than the initial oval. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the strokes when you get the shape right. Don't make the strokes too long or the fur will be too shaggy. Pay attention to the orientation of the strokes as you draw the shape of the head. The strokes on the top should be vertical and then gradually turn to a horizontal orientation on the sides. Make the bottom sides of the head a bit wider than the initial oval. Draw vertical lines under the ears for part of the neck. Break up these lines for a furry texture too. Inside the head, on the sides, draw more short strokes to give the muzzle more structure. Now erase the guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a series of short strokes to shade for a furry texture. Pay attention to the orientation of the strokes as you shade. The strokes should radiate outward from the nose. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Leave a few curved sections around the muzzle blank for highlights on the fur. Use a dark value for the pupils and the nostrils. Use a series of small squiggly lines as you shade the nose for a rough texture. Use a lighter value above the nostrils for a highlight. Add a dark value in the center of the mouth for the lower lip. Use a smooth dark value to shade the ears. Continue to gradually add darker strokes throughout the head. As you shade, separate the strokes so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Shading like this can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. 
It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a sea otter. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the sea otter. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.